Welcome to part 24 of Maryland's Pokemon Diamond Adventure. Now we're on the southern part of Route 212, which is rainy and stuff. In each of the battles, the weather would be set to rainy, so water-type Pokemon are generally pretty useful here because their water-type attacks will be powered up due to the rain. And also because of that, fire-type attacks are weakened too. Now this first battle up here is a double battle. An Apom and a Primplup will start it up. Kinda watch out for the Primplup though, because remember, since it's raining, it's water type attacks, their power will be increased. But again, the levels of these Pokemon should they shouldn't be a threat. Especially after going through the uh the last gym. It's a good time to train up some of your your weaker Pokemon and stuff. I usually don't recommend teaching HM moves to your Pokemon in-game, but I oftentimes go with strength, just because 80 power isn't that shabby in-game for not having to waste a TM on it, so things like Cut and Rock Climb, you know, I wouldn't teach those in Defog, oh my goodness. I mean, you, you haven't seen those last two yet, but they're not really worth teaching to your Pokemon. Two print plops, huh? Decent experience, though. That's a good thing. Another water type Pokemon to abuse the rain. Thank goodness for an electric type hidden power. <laughs> ah, it's never any fun knocking out males. Decent sum of cash from them, too. Okay, so let's move along. Okay. These scientist guys are really creepy. I mean, I have nothing against real scientists, but they just always seem. But the ones in in the in Diamond and Pearl, they just seem so Yeah. And they always have cadavers too. Another strange electric type Pokemon. And poison types and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, take that, Stefano. Oof, 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 oof. You had to beat me. Yeah, I had to beat you. You were standing in my way. And I don't like it when people stand in my way. Yeah, the power of video editing. I figure there's really no point in recording the random fights here. There's nothing too exciting except whoopers and the barrels and stuff like that. <laughs> I think the music creeps me out, too. For both the scientists and the collectors. Dominique. That could quite possibly be the longest name a trainer has had in any Pokemon game. I mean, for the actual name itself. 
finally got to using like more than seven letters in a name. At least for the opposing trainer's side. Ah. Darn it. Darn it. Well, that was a bad move. Take a taste of side move, huh? I'm still faster than you after you've doubled your speed. Predictable. Another Geo dude. I don't really feel like messing around with anything else though, so you get the uh, the uh, experience, Alakazam. Geodude, Geodude. Oh, Woohoo, level up. Great. Because I know Alakazam needs lots of more levels. Let's see, I feel like sharing some experience here. Yeah, brick break. Kapow. Yeah, take that thing down. Youch! Youch! Really? Let's try that. Hey, would you look at this? It's TM62, Silver Wind, which is a pretty good uh, bug type attack. Although I wouldn't really, well, I don't know, special base. Now all these fishermen, you can talk to them and they'll fight you. Uh, oh, come on, I forgot my Pokemon would cut. Grr. Uh, but I don't really feel like fighting right now. That building there, any of the shards you get underground, you can turn them in. Uh, in that building, and you can get TMs for it. Oh, come on, what was this? Yeah, skip that. Ah! What is this? I don't want to have to be running into these stupid pits. If you get stuck in one, you just need to press the directional pad back and forth a whole bunch of times. It gets really annoying. Now, I actually needed the barrel, so I just kind of cut ahead a bit, you know. Yeah, what now? So there you have it. The Great HM Slave. The barrel. Okay, moving right along. Put you up front. I don't really like having a Pokemon left with two hit points here. Okay, I forgot cut, so let's pick these weird berry things. Particularly oh darn it, I thought it was a citrus berry. Oh well. Now you can go down this little narrow path right here to pick up a free revive, which are pretty handy, I mean you know. Uh, kind of a cool little thing. If you have cut, you can also ride your uh, bike over across that log there. Oh, I did not want to go up there. 
Okay, so and there you have it. Now we are in Pastoria City.